Hi guys, I'm Jennifer Bro, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On Mondays, I post videos on the law of attraction, manifestation, the law of assumption, um, just anything in that sort of a bowl. But the first story that I am going to share with you guys is the red, the red wagon story. So many years ago when my son was a baby, I was just, you know, getting into all of this manifestation stuff. I was really just wanting to learn about it and just see where it could go. I was learning or I was practicing how to meditate and at the time, and I still struggle with this sometimes, I was finding it difficult to just sit down and meditate, but I had read about meditative blocks for people that just, you know, have like that anxious feeling about like sitting down and not moving and just like clearing the mind. So if you don't know about meditative walks, you're welcome. Go on walks and just clear your mind that way if you find that it's too difficult to just sit down and clear your head. Anyhow, so I decided that I was going to start doing meditative walks and I had a jogging stroller and I used to take my son on these meditative walks. And on my meditative walks, at the time I was intending to manifest a free car. I had seen um, this car online. They were doing like some, oh God, it wasn't a contest. It was like a, like a random winner for a Ford 2015. It was like an SUV. I'm not sure exactly which one it was. But anyways, I was, the, the intention was to practice manifesting during that meditative walk. And as I'm pushing my son on that, um, on that meditative walk, I remember thinking back to a memory from earlier that week and we had been at an ice cream shop where I saw a mother pulling her children in a red wagon and I thought, damn, I thought, you know, I'd really like to have that red wagon. Like, I'd, I'd, I would love to have a red wagon um, to pull my son in while I'm having these meditative walks. Anyhow, I let the, the thought go and I continued on with, you know, visualizing the Ford 2015. That never happened, by the way, because I just had too much resistance. You know, deep down inside, I didn't really think I was going to win it, but I was just practicing. Anyway, so later that evening, my son's father walks in through the front door, and I kid you not, like, he pulls in a red wagon. And this was not like any red wagon. It was like the same exact red wagon that the lady was using to pull in her children a few days ago. Like not physically the same one, but the same type. You know, it was like the tin one, not the, the plastic ones. So yeah, to this day, I honestly, he walked in and I was like, oh, I was like, oh my God, you're, you're not going to believe it. And you know, everyone thinks I'm crazy. So he's like, whatever. It's just a wagon. My sister gave it to me. Um... But yeah, that was that was one of the first times that I had um, like an instant manifestation and like a mind blowing law of attraction experience. So this next story was when I was living in northern Idaho with my son. Um, I just got a wild hair up my ass, and I wanted to get away from Florida because of just honestly, I've been here my whole life, and at that point. It was hectic, like everyone's nose was in my business, and I just really wanted to just get away. And I and I got away. I, I literally drove four or five days across the country as far as I possibly could go. Like, I was northern, northern Idaho. Yeah. So anyways, we're living in northern Idaho, and I am, you know, continuing, you know, practicing, practicing, you know, visualizing, um, and doing, you know, the law of attraction practices. One night, I was on Amazon and I was like I'm gonna just you know create like you know how you, you can make a wish list I was like I'm just gonna create a wish list and you know see what I can manifest and <laughs> in in this wish list I put a teddy bear <laughs> and I know it sounds so lame but I just wanted a teddy bear and not just like any teddy bear you know those really 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 big like six feet six feet teddy bears I, I love those teddy bears. I've always loved them. I um, I see it as like a gesture of like, oh my god, like somebody loves me this much. They got me this big teddy bear. Um, but <laughs> I didn't know anybody that was going to get me a teddy bear. I wasn't going to ask for it. So I just put it on my wish list. And the very next day, I get home and there's 
a big teddy bear. Like, there's a big teddy bear literally sitting at my front door that my roommate just got for my son. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was, honestly, like, I still think about it and I'm just like, I'm glad I'm talking about these because it just, it wakes all the light bulbs in my head because sometimes I'm just like, oh, I'm not a good manifester. It's like, everybody's a good manifester, you know? You just gotta remember about all the times that you've manifested what you intended and then everything else is just stuff that you've been sloppy about. But yeah, so I got this this big old teddy bear that was just sitting in my front door and I was I was like, oh my goodness. I took a picture actually and I, I posted it on Facebook. A couple years ago because I was so excited and it turns out that she knew somebody that just gave it to her and she was like, I figured you and your son would like it. So, yeah, um, that's my second manifestation story. I, I've got more. With this, with this whole, like, manifestation thing, I've actually manifested, like, so many things, like, on purpose. And my tip to you guys is be really, really specific. Once, once you become a master manifester, <laughs> become really specific and make sure that this is what you actually want. Because I'm, I kid you not, like, I kid you not. I manifest everything that I want. Sometimes I manifest things that I don't want, but I manifest everything that I want and sometimes I have that like be careful what you wish for like epiphany, like moment. It's happened to me so many times. So I'm going to go ahead and like give you guys this example. Back when I was like 20, 20 something years old. This is before I knew about the laws of attraction by the way. Like this was on accident. I was in a relationship with a very toxic relationship with somebody that was just like honestly super lazy like just a lazy lazy person and I used to work all the time and I was like the breadwinner I'm just not like that anymore I think this relationship maybe is what made me you know decide that I was like I'm never gonna be like a 50 50 chick I'm never gonna be somebody that like I know anyway so I I was working all the time I was paying for everything and um we ended up breaking up because I found out he was like messing around on me but I remember thinking to myself, and I actually said this to him out loud, I was like, I can have a millionaire if I wanted, and you should be happy that you even get to be my presence. And internally, I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, if I just had me a man with some money, I wouldn't even care if he cheated on me as long as he had some money. Guess what happened to me? I end up Two months after we broke up, getting a a very, very wealthy boyfriend, and that was the worst relationship of my entire life. Um, he wasn't just a cheater, he was like very controlling, he was like abusive, and I stayed with that person for a long time because it just became like a toxic cycle. But my point of the story is is be careful with what it is that you say that you want and make sure that that's what you actually want. Put yourself like already in that scenario and be like, damn, like, would I really be okay with being cheated on just because, you know, this person has money and they're providing like all these luxuries for me? Like, is, is that really like, is that the bar that we're setting here? Because if it is and you say it really loosely, and when I said it, I meant it. Like, I believe in my, my whole heart. I was like, I can, I can have a man, you know, of means like I can I can because I'm me and I don't care about anything else because that was what was I was that was what I was the most upset about <laughs> was that he just wasn't like he was lazy like you were you're lazy and then I, I would I said stupid stuff like and I wouldn't care if he cheated as long as he paid for all my things because that's all I care about is money god no I'm wrong that was I was so wrong but anyways the universe went ahead and was like, oh yeah, bing. There's a couple other stories um, that happened to me. Oh, there's this movie that I had seen like in the 90s. I'm gonna look it up right now to see what it's called. It's where this guy is, basically he makes a deal with the devil. He sells his soul, I think, and he gets like all these wishes, but then every single wish he gets just ends up being like messed up and he's like, oh my God, like this is not what I want. Um, that's literally what my experiences had been because I wasn't specific, you know? I hope that that's why. And I hope that it's not really because I'm not supposed to be like 
playing with my reality. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me look up the movie so that you guys can watch it. You guys should watch this movie because literally this is my life. Because I am a I am a master manifester. Like everything, everybody's a master manifester. I'm somebody that I'm like this and this and this and this is gonna happen and then it happens and I thought that's what I wanted, right? Let me tell you guys. Make sure that's what you really want because there's nothing that I don't get that I want. Yeah, there's just nothing that I don't get. There's nothing that I don't, there is nothing that I don't get. Do you hear me? Nothing. I always get exactly what I want. But then when I, when I have it, I'm like, damn, like this was not all it was cracked out to be. But anyways, let me look at this, let me look up this movie. Um, selling soul to devil. Oh my God, how much can I sell my soul for on Google? The average here is 2.8 million for a soul. What the hell am I? I gotta jump down that rabbit hole later. Okay, I found it. Alright, the movie's called Bedazzled. And I swear on my life that I had a lot of bedazzled experiences because I wasn't specific. Like, I, And then after I broke up with him, I was like, you know what? If I can just get along with someone and they're not controlling and they're not abusive, as long as they let me live my life, that's all I care about. No, Jennifer, you care about so much more than that. So don't ask for the bare minimum because you're going to get the bare minimum if that's what you ask for. Uh, so a couple other things that I've manifested was, um, I, like, I know it sounds conceited, but it's just whatever. Um, so my physical appearance is one of the, my biggest manifestations. I I wanted to look exactly like this, um, and I and I did. I always envisioned looking similar to this as a child, and I will try and find some like childhood pictures so that you guys can see like how different I look. Um, another big manifestation was my daughter. Um, I wanted a daughter, and I know that like it's, it sounds like, but I wanted a daughter, and I was like, she needs to have like, like blue eyes, like she has blue green eyes. She needs to have dark hair. Like I knew exactly what I wanted her to look like. Um, also, my my boyfriend right now, I guess he's a manifestation. There's no I guess. So a couple years ago, I had like my ideal man written down. You know what you know how, how tall he was his physical appearance you know his personality his values and all this stuff and then um my boyfriend now and i at the time had just you know started a romantic like fling i guess and i literally i grabbed that piece of paper I'm so stupid <laughs> all right this is my fucking my ideal guy i left no nothing out this is exactly what i wanted him to look like Act like, think like, oh wait. I want Tony. I got Tony. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, anyways, so this apartment was a manifestation. I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos. I still watch a lot of YouTube videos, and... I used to watch YouTubers that had apartments that resembled mine, and I was like, I want to have like a YouTuber's like sort of apartment. I want to have, you know, like the fancy stuff. Like I'll show you guys. I love my apartment. It's kind of messy right now, but like my apartment's nice. My apartment's like really nice. It's in a nice area. I I wanted like the granite countertops and everything, and so I manifested that, and like I've manifested just so 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 much, and right now what I'm manifesting is like this YouTube job because I I was just watching a lot of like YouTube videos and stuff and learning about like manifesting little things and then I'm watching like literally YouTubers that are teaching me how to manifest like blow up and I'm like wait a minute yeah um we're gonna jump on that bandwagon but anyways guys that is my manifesting Monday I don't want to keep rambling on more than I already have um I hope you're enjoying this video bye